All right, so today I'm going to show you how you can upgrade your um, Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus and S10, S10e and your uh, Note 10 Plus and your Note 10 to um, Android 10 One UI 2. But please do bear in mind that this video is uh, specifically for S10 Plus and the files that are linked below are for the S10 Plus. And one other thing you have to note is the files that are linked below are for the binary 3 model. You have to know what binary model your phone is and I will show you in a few seconds how you can check what binary number your phone is or more so the binary number of your kernel. So mine is 3 and the files listed below are for the binary number 3 model. This is the Ex Exynos model and this is the official update. This is not beta or you know there's not a beta program. This is official. One thing you do need to keep in mind before getting started is please do make a backup of your data. I know a lot of people just say it for the sake of saying it and most of the times these things go pretty well and you don't need a backup but I just did it uh, this morning 10 a.m. and from 10 a.m. till now and it's 7 p.m. right now I have been fumbling with this phone to fix it because I bricked it and i was having problems i downgraded and i was not able to get in back into my phone i upgraded i was not able to get back into my phone ultimately i had to lose my all of my data data and then i was able to make it work so please do make a, a backup of your data because uh with me and a lot of other people that upgraded to this germany firmware they are telling that when they flash this firmware they're having a problem where um the phone is either bricked or it just doesn't loads or you have a problem where the android system is just broken and it needs to be repaired and the only way to repair an android system is to factory reset it so please do make a backup so now that all of this is out of the way so let's get started um the files i've linked below are uploaded to mega for your convenience you would not have to go through sam mobile and you know register your uh, account or whatever you can just directly download mega and download all of these files and these are extracted files you don't even have to extract the files so uh, I had to do I had to extract this you would not have to you will get all of these files AP BL CP CSC and home CSC so what, you, what another thing you need is you need Arden and install Arden extract it and open Arden and once you open Arden go to BL and go to your file where you have it downloaded i have it here uh, this is your bootloader this is important and i recommend you fill out all of these uh, these tabs this ap tabs takes a lot of time so don't panic or whatever this is normal with all of the firmwares this is uh, the largest file i believe is like 4.7 or 4.8 gigabytes so it takes the most time to get uploaded to Arden. So wait for it. It will say not responding or whatever. Just wait for it. And uh, yeah. All right. So the AP file is uploaded as well. And again, the BLAP files are what you will get when you download the link from the description. As you can see, AP. And you upload AP to AP, BL to BL, CP to CP, CP to CP and to csc i recommend well it is better you upload the home csc file and the home csc file also take a uh, takes a couple of seconds because that file is rather large too it's like 500 megabytes so you have to wait for it a little bit a few seconds only now that the file is uploaded you need to make sure you have a good usb cable don't use a cheap usb cable because uh, often time it cre creates problems with Auden. now i will show you how you can check your binary number and among other things you don't need to uh, unable uh, oem unlocking you just need to un uh, unable usb debugging on your phone Okay, so on your phone, go to settings. I'm on Android 10 right now. Go to your phone, about device, and go to, as you can see, let me actually show you how, what software I'm on. As you can see, I'm on Android 10, one UI 2. So go to your settings, go to your software information, go to bill number, tap it like seven, eight times. It will ask you to enter your password, 
and enter your enter your password and your developer mode is now activated these are the new uh, gestures by the way so go to deliver the uh, developer settings and um, activate uh, USB debugging once you have activated USB debugging you need to power your phone off power off your phone when I was flashing the files on this phone I was wondering if I was really dusty because I've never done I've not done this stuff in a good while and uh, but I figured out that Samsung and Android has made it really really hard for people like us to root these devices or you know do anything to these devices and um, it's, it's unfortunate to say the least because I hate iPhones due to this reason I use an iPhone for two years after years and years of using Android I went to Android uh, I went to iOS to check iOS out and that's the most boring thing about iOS that you cannot do anything and now Android is that way too you cannot root it or whatever but uh that was that was besides the point so um you have once your phone is powered off you need to grab a USB cable uh don't plug in the USB cable right away uh press the volume down button the Bixby button at the same time all right press it and once you press it just connect the USB cable after you press those two buttons you will be on your download mode as you can see so press volume up and as you can see the phone is connected so on your PC you need to hit start here click start let it be let it boot let it do its thing and I will put a video up here somewhere on the screen where you can see the problem I encountered when I flashed flashed this um, stock firmware so all I had to do was perform a factory reset and I'm warning you again please do make a full backup of your phone and with Samsung cloud it's really really easy to do so make a full backup and then you can flash it and you will get Android 10 hopefully on your phone I already have Android 10 on my phone so I'm not going to flash it but as I showed you earlier so again thank you for watching if you have any questions you can drop them down below and I will leave the links both to the Sam mobile website and to the mega link where I uploaded the files for the binary 3 and yeah I also forgot to show you the binary thing as you can see here um, if you look closely where it says a p s r e v it says b3 k3 s3 i'm not really sure about all of these codes uh but i think bind b means binary k means kernel and s all right i don't know what happened i'm sorry for the cutoff but um as i said you do need to make sure what binary number you're on and once you confirm your binary number um then flash the file to make sure if you have the correct firmware for your binary number you just need to read the code here it says g 975 f double x u 3 the 3 is the 3 for the binary so make sure if it's 1 2 3 4 for your device so that's about it and thank you for watching have a great day